let me mention to you about uh, a few anecdotes. Uh, both, I want to mention about uh, Field Marshal Manik Shah. Unfortunately, we're not remembering him so much. He was the chief architect. Let's not forget that at all. And also about sometimes our attitude to uh, military history. 25 years ago, when we were wanting to celebrate the silver jubilee of this war, Army, Navy, Air Force, all three of us had planned that we will celebrate it in a big way in all the military stations and in, the, in all the capitals of the states. And the programs had been worked out. I was vice chief of the Army staff at that time. But although the defense minister had said, yes, go ahead, but we did not get permission for quite some time. And when it got, it was getting very late, so we again asked, what happened? Why are you not letting us do this? So then the cabinet secretary decided to hold a meeting in which uh, all the secretaries were there and I was also there. <coughs> and uh, the cabinet secretary said, why do you want to celebrate this war? You know? So I said, but why not? <coughs> and uh, he says, okay, you know, we are talking to Pakistan and they get very upset about it. That upset us. <laughs> and uh, my other colleagues were also there. And then I said, do you realize that this is one war which India has won after centuries? We keep talking of our victories of uh, Maurya Empire and Gupta Empire and all. After that, you give me one instance where India as a nation fought and we had this kind of a victory. So, then the next question was, okay, if you celebrate it this year, what will you do next year? What will you do next year? Will you celebrate it in the same fashion? And I said, I don't know about the next year. We will celebrate it, definitely. But one thing I can assure you, that when we celebrate 50th anniversary, the golden jubilee of this, we will celebrate it in much, much greater style and much greater fashion. And I'm so glad that it is happening today, 25 years later. And I also must... I have written this in my book on Kargil. There is a chapter uh, in which I said, leave us alone, we are apolitical. In that chapter, I have mentioned this, about this incident also. And I told him, I said that neglect of military history of a nation reflects weak strategic culture and lack of military confidence at that time. And then I was carrying my own uh, notes you know, for that meeting, and I quoted Ernest Renan, who once wrote, what constitutes a nation is not speaking the same tongue or belonging to the same ethnic group, but having accomplished great things in common in the past and the wish to accomplish them in future. This is a quote from Ernest Renan, a philosopher, French philosopher, and I was carrying that note with me that if they ask me this question, because we were now, uh, we knew that there were some doubts uh, in sir. So I mentioned that about that. And because we got this permission rather late, uh, we couldn't officially tell Field Marshal Manisha to come and lay the wreath. He was Field Marshal by that time. And I had known him quite well, having stayed in Wellington as Commandant Staff College and earlier also during service. So I had spoken to him, but we could not extend the official invitation. And now it was getting late. So when I rang him up now for to serve, why don't you come and you will be. So he told me, this is of Because of this delay. So I had to really persuade him. And then of course he kept typical field marshal Manikshaw's fashion. 
कैटेगरी में एक्सक्यूज मेरे पास तो यूनिफॉर्म नहीं है तो इसे हम बना देंगे तो दैट वाज द काइंड ऑफ एटीट्यूड एट दैट टाइम एंड समहाउ व्हाई आई एम सेइंग इज दैट आई थिंक द गवर्नमेंट्स व्हिच एवर बी दैट दे हैव टू रियलाइज दैट फॉर हेवन सेक डोंट मेडल इन द वर्किंग ऑफ द आर्म फोर्सेस एंड celebrating a victory of this nature is good for the nation it's not just for the armed forces it's good for our people our nation as such that's why i am mentioning this anyway field marshal manish shop because i had known him personally so ultimately he did come and uh, he laid the wreath obviously he was the first one to lay the wreath uh, then we all followed and um, and he went away after that he did not uh, wait for the official functions in rashtrapati bhavan and all so he was a field marshal who was feeling so upset about it and again i think i must mention another anecdote of field marshal during kargil war he rang me up he said i'm coming to delhi to see you he came to delhi only to see us and the day he came i was called by prime minister we were having some meeting so i rang him up i said that look uh, i have to attend that meeting at the time when you were coming he said don't worry i'll come and sit with your wife he came and he waited for almost one hour till i came back and the only question he asked me was he says can i help you is there anything i can do for you for these two sentences he had come all the way from kunur so that was the thing that i told you that i wanted to talk about field marshal i am feeling a little emotional about remembering him today you know we know that you all know the kind of send off that he was given when he uh, passed away but that was the kind of a person that he was and then the next day he uh, went to see all the patients in the hospital my wife has quoted him and i also must mention to you that our president despite my nudging conveying the message he did not go to see the patients in the rnr hospital or delhi hospital and i am mentioning this now i am over 82 years old that high time people realized what the services what the armed forces means to the nation 